Hopefully I didn't see this one as I pulled these off the, the wall. But it did give me quite a scare right now. Hello, good morning and welcome to a brand new video. This last week and a bit has been a bit of a mixed bag, as has been the weather. We've had some beautiful spring days, but the evenings are still cool. We have come out of the minuses overnight though, and are currently averaging around 5-7 degrees at night. So it's still time to make a lovely fire in the evening. The last week and a bit has been, as I mentioned, a bit of a mixed bag for me in terms of what I've been doing on the renovation. And the reason for that is that my work, my day job, has been keeping me very busy of late. So what I've tried to do is every day dedicate about two hours to getting back to things that need to get done renovation-wise or farm-wise even, and then trying to get those things done. Of course, Earning money helps me live this lifestyle and affords me this beautiful farm and this new life in Portugal. So I'm super grateful for my clients, even though they do take up a lot of my time of late. What I have managed to do, however, is to finally finish my ceiling. I also managed to sand down all those beams again and just spot oil wherever I manage to mess things up with the ceiling painting. And if I do say so myself, I feel like things look incredible in that room and things are really coming together. When there are beautiful spring days, the feeling has just made me feel like, I don't know, spring cleaning for some reason. I feel I have this absolute urge to just pull things together, clean things up, get things ready. Who knows why, but like, I feel like tidying things up and tying up all the last loose strings. So I've been doing little bits of things all over the last week or so when it hasn't been raining. Um, but even so, there's still lots to do and I'm so excited for where things are going. Now that I've finished my ceiling, hopefully soon I will be able to prepare the floor for the tiling and then take it step by step to ready that room to finally move everything over from the current space into that space so that I can start preparing the other side of the structure. What also happened in the last week, you won't believe it, but the shower was still not working even after the last fix. Within two or three days, it started doing exactly the same thing again, and the builder did offer to come back out again. So we again had to chop up the cement by the entrance door, but luckily that wasn't the issue, even though we had to chop that up and open that up again. So, but we did find the problem this time round and um, it turned out that it was on the exit, which is why I'm standing here. Let me show you. I've just covered it up so that the sun and the coal doesn't damage it. But we discovered that the issue was in fact here on the exit pipe and that it is not actually draining enough the hole or whatever was just too small or something is just impacting this exit so we have to find a better solution for this but having that open does seem to help with the shower draining so at least it is now down to that and hopefully that is the last thing now with the shower and then hopefully finally that can put an end to my shower issues and we can tick that off and check that off as done i have noticed that i've got lots of little flower buds and blossoms forming on all the trees in the farm at the moment so spring is definitely on the way even though it doesn't feel like that just yet i feel like by the next farm tour i can show you all the beautiful spring blossoms such as this plum tree So for now, let me show you what I've managed to do in the last week and a bit. 
let's get to it. Oh, I nearly forgot. Poor Tobias has not had a good couple of days. He had a nasty run in with the local cat bully who I dubbed Fat Cat because at one stage he was really like a bit of a don. But to be honest, in this picture, he looks a little bit like another evil dictator we know. Shame. His, his little ankles didn't look very good. The cat looked like it bit him on his little Achilles uh, tendons. Um, it was bleeding and open, very swollen for the last two days. But he seems to be getting in a little bit better health and walking around again today. Shame. Hello and welcome. I'm Christine. An expat originally from South Africa, I moved to Portugal in October of 21. This is my adventure as a solo expat on a farm in central Portugal with my two fur kids, Shakti and Shiva. I've never owned or lived on a farm, but I moved to Portugal in the hope of fulfilling a lifelong dream in finding an open space, subsistence farming, and a safer, better life. Now that we have found our farm, the second stage of our journey begins. I have to figure out farm life while renovating an agricultural structure to make it habitable and turn it into a comfortable home for me and my fur kids. Follow along our journey. This is Girl Meets Farm. I just finished the first coat. It's basically a primer, rust treatment, and paint all in one. And um, I don't know if you heard that, but that was a microwave. Lunch is ready. <laughs> I need to take a break after all this paint fumes. Um, so I had just enough for to do the windows on that side and this side. I take this up because it's quite windy and it's just to prevent the wind from coming through here. So underneath I haven't painted yet so I can touch it. But um, yeah, so the first coat is on. I think I need to do at least one or two more coats because as you can see here, as it dries, the rust is definitely still peeking through here. But um, it is a treatment. It is the first coat. Uh, I think it will go away with more coats, hopefully. Already looking better though. It must now just fully dry. I'm finally on the last five panels of the second coat of the ceiling. Boy, has it been a long week. And progressively, every day as I've been painting, more and more white is now like all over these beautiful beams of mine. So I need to spend some time to get all of that paint off the beams and just re-oil the spots where there's been some paint. For these last five, I've decided to do things differently. The irony being, had I done it from the very beginning, I would have not made myself double work. What I'm doing is I'm going to be wrapping the beams completely in the brown paper wrapping to protect it from the paint. And at least then I won't have to redo or re-oil the last five beams. But we're so close to having this space double painted and ready for the flooring. Ah, oh, can't wait. I covered most of the beams, but I couldn't go all the way. I'll just have to try and be a little bit careful if I'm really tired today. So the other thing that I've changed with uh, the second round of painting is actually the method that I'm using. Before I would stand on the scaffolding and actually paint with the roller in my hand, but now I've decided to paint from the floor with a telescopic roller 
Honestly, I don't know which way is better or which I prefer in any case. They both feel pretty tiring and exhausting to me, but I do feel that the telescopic roller does get the job done a little bit faster, only because I don't have to move the scaffolding or a ladder and things like that all the time. So let me go change into my paint outfit and I'll be right back. <laughs> After using the roller, I again spot corrected the tippy tops and bottoms of every panel with a little bit more paint where the roller couldn't reach. I have an absolute bee in my bonnet today. I have been trying to clean up all the areas to just make it feel less like a build site and less like a project. Um, so I've been picking up like all the leftover building rubble that I'm still finding everywhere. Um, plastic bottles, cigarette stumps, foam pieces, plastic, oh, you name it, I found it. And I then started doing the painting of the window, I then started on the granite, but I couldn't complete the window because I ran out of paint. I couldn't do the granite because I didn't quite have the right tools. So now I am here and I don't know, I had this in sight and I feel like if I take this down, maybe I feel a little bit better as well. There's no reason for us to have this on. I don't actually know why the previous farmer did have this up here, but he did have chickens. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Um, but I want to take it down. <laughs> Still busy, but already looking so so much better and the ceiling on this main area now is completely painted with Two coats of paint, it really does make a difference. But unfortunately, because I was lazy and I didn't do all the beams covered in that brown paper, <laughs> this is of course what I now have to fix on multiple beams and multiple areas where I just got too tired when I was painting. So now comes the task of trying to sand this down and then possibly re-oil the areas like here where I sanded down a little bit. You can see the coloration, the difference in coloring between that and this where I haven't sanded. So spots like that, I'm just gonna give a very light oil again so that they all look even.
So I managed to finish the one side today. All the beams sanded down and re-oiled on the spots. It's still a little bit wet, so that's why it's shining over there. And then I've yet to do the whole other side, um, but I'm just too tired to continue now. Hopefully I'll get it done tomorrow, but I was really hoping to get this done tonight. But it is what it is, and it really is looking so, so much better. And finally, I'm done with the ceiling. It might not be perfect, perfect, but I am super, super happy with the results. Two coats of paint on the plasterboard, and then I sanded down the beams and spot corrected where I'd gotten paint over everything. <laughs> I'm super, super happy with the results.